You're watching BCTV. We're all about Brantford. You're watching BCTV, Brantford Government Television, a service of Brantford Community Television. This program is brought to you in part through the support of the Town of Brantford. He wanted to read it himself, so. <laughs> I'm glad to see the the you're not, the mic's not on. The RTM will be convened on Wednesday, February 12th, 2020 at 8 p.m. in the Brantford Fire Headquarters, 45 North Main Street, to consider and act upon the following matters. Will everybody please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, item number one, roll call. Good evening. Um, fighting a cold, so if in the middle of roll call I just pass it off to Tom, it's because I'm choking. So, uh, Representative Edelman. Present. I will come to your aid. <laughs> Representative Alphone. Present. Representative Anderson. Here. Representative Austin. Here. Representative Black. Here. Representative Brockett. Here. Representative Conklin. Here. Representative Everson. Here. Representative Erlanger. Here. Representative Flanagan. Here. Representative Greenberg. Here. Representative Haken. Here. Representative Healy. Present. Representative Henschel. Here. Representative Hines. Here. <clears throat> Representative Ingraham. Here. Representative Jackson. Here. Representative Kelly. Representative Leach here. Representative Lombardi. Here. Representative Preet. Representative Riccio. Representative Sember. Here. Representative Sires. Here. Representative Sumro. Here. Representative Stepanik. Here. Representative Sullivan. Here. Representative Torelli. Present. Representative Tuhill. Here. Representative Wells. Okay, and for ex officios, we have Town Clerk um, Arpin. We have First Selectman Cosgrove. We have Selectman Dunbar. Thank you. Okay. Item number two approval of the minutes of the previous meetings. Is there a motion? I'll make a motion. Motion on the floor to approve. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on it? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved without exception. <coughs> Item number three, receptions of communications, report, reports of committees and citizens' petitions. I have a couple here. Uh, February is the monthly food collection to benefit Feed Brantford Kids. Food collection items can be canned chicken or tuna, snacks or any of any kind. Uh, individuals serving sacks containing no nuts or peanut butter needs no refrigeration. Please bring donations by February 28, 2020 to the Brantford Town Clerk's Office, 1019 Main Street, first floor, Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Uh, I have here a live, living wisely and well on the planet Earth, con con converting to renewable energy, the why and what and how. 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., free admission, Trinity Church on the Brantford Green, Wednesday, February 19th, can be Renewable Energy Community by 2050. I have a letter here from Representative Tuhill, 
Uh, please, Mr. Ronerator, endorse please a letter to you concerning the proposed, proposed light ordinance. Uh, should you need any information, please contact me. Uh, I will send this to rules and ordinance. And uh, Representative Black, I believe you have the Guilford proposal on this also, should you need that. So this will go to R&O. &R. And last, I have a letter here from Chairman of the Board of Finance, uh, John Mooney, to the representative town meeting. Attention, Dennis Flanagan, moderator. At the meeting of the Board of Finance held on January 27, 2020, the following resolution was adopted. Resolved that the resolution entitled Resolution Appropriating $2,750,000 for Main Street Road and Related Improvements and authorizing the issuance of 2,750,000 bonds of the town to meet said appropriation and pending the issuance thereof, the making of temporary borrowings for the such purpose here is hereby adopted and recommended for approval by the representative town meeting. I have anything else, you have anything? No? No? Okay. Having that, we're moving on to item four. To consider and if appropriate, adopt the uniform procedure for ordinance enforcement pursuant to town meeting rules A236-4-19D, Representative Black. Scott Butler. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, rules and ordinance do not meet this month. The town attorney was not available for our regularly scheduled meeting, uh, so I ask that this item be re-referred. Motion on the floor for re-referral. Is second. there a second? Second by Representative Sullivan. Any discussion on the motion to re-refer the item? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, the item is re-referred. Item number five, to consider and if appropriate, approve a second addendum to the lease agreement between the Town of Branford and the Volunteer Service Center, extending the lease for an additional 20 years period. Representative Alphone. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, <clears throat> this is a lease agreement between the Town of Branford and the Volunteer Service Center, which is located at 30 Harrison Avenue in the old police station building. Uh, the Volunteer Service Center houses the community dining room, the food pantry, and the BH Care Clothing Bank. This agreement will extend the current lease for another 20 years, bringing us into October of 2039. This item passed committee with a unanimous six to zero vote. i put that forward to a full body. Okay, a motion on the floor uh, to approve this item. Any discussion on uh, the motion to approve? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The item carries. Item number six, to consider and if appropriate, approval request from the Human Resource Director for the following fiscal 2020 budget transfer on behalf of the tax collector. <coughs> from contingency 35,400 to consulting services 35,400 both uh, Ways and Means and Admins did hear this. Heard this. Uh, Representative Black? Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Yes, we heard this uh, last week. Um, this is a move to cover a uh, personnel and really a knowledge shortage in the tax collector's office. Um, our uh, tax collector is fairly new and not up to speed on everything, and the uh, assistant tax collector is retiring, so there'll be a vacancy there. Uh, this is to hire a uh, consultant, the retired tax collector for New Haven, to both train the uh, present personnel and uh, hopefully we'll fill in the one vacancy uh, before the end of the year. The pay rate is $59 an hour for this person. She's a fully qualified, certified state of uh, Connecticut tax collector. This is a vital function for the town, obviously. Uh, so uh, our committee voted in favor of this, and I believe admin services did as well. Thank you. Yes, uh, I think Peter pretty much covered everything, but admin services also heard this because it dealt with the HR budget, uh, the consulting item coming out of HR's budget items, and uh, the tax collector department, but we did pass this with a five to zero vote. A motion on the floor to approve this item. Is there any discussion on this item? Yeah. Representative Henschel. Mr. Moderator, through you, do we have a number on contingency? Need a mic. 857969 dollars. Okay. 
There isn't any further discussion on this item. Uh, Representative Endelman. Um, I'd just like to clear the record and thank you. Um, as far as the tax collector not being up to speed, I just want to state that she's in her certification <laughs> process. It's a three-year process. She's been in office for two years. There's a vacancy, and um, that's the need for this uh, other position. Thank you. Any other discussion on the item? Hearing none, all those in favor, have a show of hands. All those in favor, show your show of hands. All those opposed? Two opposed. Okay. Item carries. Item number seven, to consider and if appropriate, approve a request from the town planner for the following fiscal 2020 budget transfer from regular wages and salaries, 12,000, to consulting services, 12,000. Representative Black. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, then rules and ordinances didn't meet this month, um, and this wouldn't have fallen on our regular meeting schedule. But uh, we have had discussions with the town planner on this item, so I ask that we waive Rule 441 and uh, waive the uh, hearing in committee and address this tonight. I'll second that. Motion on the floor has been seconded to waive Rule 441. All those in favor, single by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, so I'm going to make a motion to approve this. Um, the town planner. Uh, town planning office is down two persons. This is a consultant uh, to backfill, uh, partially backfill some of the uh, staffing shortage there. Um, this is coming out of the town planning budget, not from contingency. So these are moving from the uh, salaries for the vacant positions into um, the consulting line and. Uh, up to now, this, this person is in the office, and he's been working. They've been funded out of planning and zoning's own consulting budget line, but that will run out um, fairly soon. So Harry's anxious to get this approved tonight. Um, so I'll put that in a form motion and ask for a second. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion on this item? Is there any presentation from the town Representative planner? Selvin? Is there what? any presentation from the town planner on this, or? Uh, if you want, but I mean, uh, that's, the motion is to approve. If, if Harry wants to, uh, to talk, uh, discuss this, Harry, it's pretty well I mean, it's what here. Peter Black said, so Representative Black, but. Good evening, everyone. I think Representative Black summed it up pretty clearly. Um, this is for a consultant to uh, uh, work with our department Um, we're actively underway trying to uh, fill those positions, so this would be a stopgap measure so that we could uh, try to keep customer service levels as high as we can while we uh, seek to fill the positions. Perfect. Any further discussion? Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Hearing none, all those in favor of this transfer signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The item carries. Well, the guy right. did come Thank on. you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Item number eight, <laughs> to consider if appropriate, approve the request for the Parks and Open Space Authority for the following transfer from fiscal 2020 from Open Space Patrol 13,700 to Capital Outlay Improvements 13,700. Representative Black. Thank you, uh, Mr. Moderator. I'd ask that this item be combined with uh, eight and nine. We heard them and acted on them together, ways and means. Um, last week and voted unanimously to approve these transfers. The uh, open space patrol position is vacant. Uh, the first item is to the capital accounts is to create a parking area at the north end of the Queech uh, Pisco Brook Supply Pond Woodlands to uh, hopefully encourage people to park on Laurel Hill Road and access that woodland from the north end. Um, and take some pressure off the south end, also to get some people uh, more activity on the north end as far as hikers and less ATV uh, people, what uh, the Open Space Committee hopes. Um, 
So it's building a, a parking area there. The land is actually owned by the land trust. It's a field, but the land trust has agreed to allow us. And I think the town attorney and the land trust are working on a specific uh, easement or licensing agreement for that. Um, the second item is again with the open space patrol, uh, moving that into the seasonal and part-time help um, to allow for more hours uh, for the uh, part-time person to care for our open space. Again, we heard this in committee and voted unanimously in favor of that, so I put these both in the form of a motion for approval. Thank you. Any discussion on the uh, motion to approve item 8 and 9? Hearing none, all those in favor, I signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Both items 8 and 9 are passed. <coughs> Item 10, to <coughs> receive communications with respect to and consider and act upon a resolution entitled Resolution Appropriating $2,750,000 for the Main Street Road and related town improvements and authorizing the issuance of Two million seven hundred fifty thousand in bonds of the town to make said appropriations, and pending the issuance thereof, the making of temporary borrowings for such purpose. The full text of the resolution is on file, open to public inspection in the office of the town clerk. Representative Black. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Again, we've all uh, received the full resolution by email, so I'd ask that we waive the reading of the full resolution and put that in the form of a motion. Second. Thank you. Motion on the floor has been second to waive the reading of the full resolution. All those in favor of waiving the reading signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? It is waived. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Moderator. Again, we heard this uh, in committee, Ways and Means, last week. Voted unanimously in favor of this. Um, so I'll put that in the form of a motion. What this uh, resolution amendment does is it uh, changes the Main Street project from Kirkham Street to South Main and the uh, roundabout that was going to be built where Eade Street intersects and we're essentially canceling that project because it's gone way over the $3 million estimate to about $5 million and uh, the State Highway Department hasn't been, has put some requirements on that that we think would make the, uh, the road worse <laughs> aesthetically rather than better. Um, and shift that money toward a rebuild of Main Street, which is entirely town-owned um, from its intersection with South Main to its terminus at Chestnut and East Main, and a rebuild of that road. Um, a lot of the parts of that road are sinking, particularly the brick sidewalks, um, and there's uh, trolley tracks coming up through the pavement. So this would uh, allocate this money toward uh, putting it on that section of the uh, of Main Street. Again, I put that in the form of motion, uh, put it for approval for the full RTM. Any discussion on the motion? Representative Brockett? Yes, Mr. Moderator, thank you. Also, uh, at Ways and Means, just to follow up on Peter a little, not only will it be resurfacing and remilling that road, but it'll also take care of some sidewalks that are sunk in. It'll take care of some handicap uh, signs It'll also take care of some drainage, so um, that's why the cost of the 2.7 million. And this is just an appropriation that's going to be bonded. This way, the first selectman can take it right to the committee. It's a project that's ready to go, and we can get it all paid for, except for the 250,000 in design by the state. Okay. Any further discussion on this item, Representative Sullivan? Um, so I know that, as Representative Braga just mentioned, that some of this project is for drainage, and I would just encourage that as this project goes out to design that we look at um, some low impact development as part of the design to actually infiltrate some of the water there as opposed to just conventional drainage. So I would just hope that that's something that's picked up as this project moves forward. And I think Representative Black has an answer. Representative Sullivan will be thrilled to know that our town engineer is all over that and uh, one of the things that he mentioned to our committee is turning some of the parking areas, I presume the ones on the side of the street, the um, parallel parking areas into permeable surfaces. Um, so he's trying to, that's, that's already on the agenda. Um, so I think to the 
amount that it's feasible, it'll be done. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Tuhill. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. This is a great project for downtown Brantford. I understand it's already been approved. This is some of our tax dollars coming back to Brantford, and um, it's going to be great. And please vote for it. Thank you. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? This item is passed. Item 11, to consider if appropriate, approve an agreement yes. between the town of Brantford. Yes. yes. Is this bond and I need a roll call? No, I thought I was just going to send thinking that. Yeah. My fault. Uh, okay, this will be a roll call vote. Okay, roll call vote for item 10. Representative Edelman. Yes. Representative Alphone. Yes. Representative Anderson. Yes. Representative Austin. Yes. Representative Black. Yes. Representative Brockett. Yes. Representative Conklin. Yes. Representative Everson. Yes. Representative Erlanger. Yes. Representative Flanagan. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Representative Greenberg. Yes. Representative Haken. Yes. Representative Healy. Yes. Representative Henschel. Yes. Representative Hines. Yes. Representative Ingraham. Yes. Representative Jackson. Uh, Representative Leach, yes. Representative Lombardi. Yes. Representative Sember. Yes. Representative Sires. Yes. Representative Sumro. Yes. Representative Stepanek. Yes. Representative Sullivan. Yes. Representative Torelli. Yes. Representative Tuhill. Yes. Representative Wells. Yes. Okay, thank you. Unanimous, huh? uh, except for the yeah, 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 right. Okay. Unanimous vote. Okay, now on to item 11. To consider and if appropriate, approve an agreement between the Town of Brantford and the Brantford Dispatchers, the Connecticut Organization for Public Safety Employees, Unit Number 14, to June 30th, 2021. Representative Conklin. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. The Public Services Committee heard a presentation on this contract on February the 6th, and we did uh, vote unanimously to accept it. I have 36 pages of the contract if you would like me to read it, but I warn you in advance I'm a slow reader. So, so we'll just talk a little bit about uh, the highlights. It follows the pretty much the contracts we've been approving you know, uh, for the last year. And the, high, the real highlight is the, uh, the increases in wages are 2.5% uh, for each of the years of the contract. There is an increase in the contribution that the employee makes to their insurance in the PPOs from 16% to 17%, and in the uh, high deductible from 11% to 12%, and then next year uh, from 12% to 13%. Uh, the contract was delayed at the request of the town employees because they wanted the police contract to be settled first. Uh, they're happy with the contract. The town negotiators are happy with the contract. Obviously, our committee was happy with it because we voted unanimously to accept it. And I put that the acceptance uh, in the form of a motion. Any discussion on the motion, Representative Sullivan? All right. So um, I was uh, disappointed that this was missed on the original agenda when it was posted because I didn't then go look for your committee agenda and miss the presentation on the contract. Um, so I probably um, crammed a little bit today to try to read some of the contract. Um, and I would imagine that there was also some additional costs of reprinting the agenda and reposting uh, it in the New Haven Register. Um, but I'm actually rising in opposition to the contract. 
uh, and primarily for one section that is proposed to be struck in the tentative agreement, which is section 4.1. And that section states, all present employees and all employees hired after the date of this agreement is signed shall, as a condition of employment, become and remain members of the union within 30 calendar days after this agreement is signed or after their date of hire, whichever is applicable or pay an agency fee. So my understanding of this is that um, it would be a potential weakening of our uh, public sector unions uh, by reducing the amount of funds and union dues that would be paid to the union uh, as people can opt out. And uh, I'm a strong believer of public sector unions. I think there's a strong correlation that when we have good unions, we have better worker rights and better pay for our workers. Um, so I am opposed to the contract uh, because this section is proposed to be struck from the contract. So I will be voting no. Uh, tonight, I would encourage anybody else that agrees with me to do the same. Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? Um, I would agree with the, the comments that Representative Sullivan has made. However, I would vote in favor of the contract just because our dispatchers, this has been a negotiated contract. We can't really say what's in or not in a contract and um, they deserve our support. Any other discussion on this item? Okay, okay this will be a roll call vote. I guess Pete wants to talk. <laughs> he's wandering around back here. Oh, okay, he's talking to Jerry. Never mind. <laughs> he does want to talk. I already called the roll call vote, be Representative Black. He was raising his hand. He was it's, to... it's a Janice decision, so it's required. Well, I would disagree with that. It's not required. The town decided to put it in, and the union agreed to it. Just because it's a Supreme Court decision doesn't mean it has to be a requirement of the collective bargaining agreement. The parties are free to negotiate whatever terms and conditions of employment that they may like. Roll call. Okay, yeah, before the roll call, only, only comment I would like to make is that, uh, you know, I, 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 although I'm not voting on this because I can't, be, but this, I, I believe, is a very important contract. For all those that know, these dispatchers serve a vital uh, job in there in the town of Brantford with 911 emergency calls coming in. These people can either save a life or help us in an emergency situation. So this, these are critical positions. Go ahead. Okay, roll call, vote for item 11. <coughs> Representative Edelman. Yes. Representative Alphone. Yes. Representative Anderson. Yes. Representative Austin. Yes. Representative Black. Yes. Representative <coughs> Brockett. Yes. Sir. Representative Conklin. Yes. Representative Everson. Yes. Representative Erlanger. Yes. Representative Greenberg. Yes. Representative Haken. Yes. Representative Healy. Yes. Representative Henschel. Yes. Representative Hines. Yes. Representative Ingraham. Yes. Representative Jackson. Yes. Representative Leach. Yes. Representative Lombardi. Yes. Representative Sember. Yes. Representative Sires. Yes. Representative Sumro. Yes. Representative Stepanek. Yes. Representative Sullivan? No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Representative Torelli? Yes. Representative Tuhill? Yes. Representative Wells? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. So one no. Right. Contract is approved. Item number 12, any other business to come before the RTM? Representative Brockett. Yes, Mr. Moderator. Um, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everyone that's wearing red. Um, I want to give a shout out to Shida and Tracy for leading us in this charge about a month or so ago. They suggested that once they saw an email that it was Women's Heart Healthy Month that we should all wear red. We passed that along. So I just want to thank everybody for supporting uh, February for Heart Healthy Month for the women and everybody that's wearing red tonight. So thank you very much. Good. Any other business come before the art Tim? Yep. yep. Uh, 
by 2050, um, it's a free uh, to the public um, uh, event and uh, probably a very important one for all of us. So uh, I encourage you and maybe you can uh, pass this on to some of your constituents as well to, uh, to attend. And again, it's on February 19th. Thank you. Any other business? Representative Ramos? I'd just like to publicly thank the first selectman and the fire chief uh, for quickly notifying residents regarding the town's emergency alert system from the Be Informed system to CT alerts less than 24 hours after I expressed my concern that the Be Informed system was no longer working. The correction was made and residents were notified of the switch to CT alerts. Thank you again for the quick response, and uh, all our residents, I'm sure, appreciate the emergency notifications that we're now getting. Okay, any other items come before the RTM? Any other business? If not, uh, motion to adjourn, Representative Torelli. Thank you, motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Nope. Representative Same. Jackson, all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. We are adjourned. <laughs>